Let's take a closer look at the animation window inside of Adobe InDesign. I come up to my window and I come to interactive and I am going to open up my animation window. I am going to begin this project, which will be a multi-page project on the elements and principles of design. I begin with page one. I do not have a master applied to this page because this page is going to be different than all of the other pages. I'm going to begin by adding a color to this page. I create a shape. I add the color. I'm going to open up my layers. And I'm going to bullet down. I'm going to find this rectangle and lock this rectangle. I begin now with type. I grab my type tool and I type the title of my project, the elements and principles of design. Working with my type, I'm going to stylize my type. I come to window, I come to type and tables. I come to character. I'm going to choose the font that I want to work with. I am going to choose American typewriter. I'm going to make it much larger. And I'm actually gonna introduce different fonts. For elements, I'm going to use a handwriting font. I'm going to use Cortada. And for principles, I'm going to also use Cortada and work on stylizing my font, making the words elements and principles larger. I want to take a look at my paragraph window and I'm going to center these. And I'm going to work with the color as well. And I may be more intentional about where my page, are, page breaks are. I'm going to choose the elements and principles of design. I'm going to take a closer look at the color uh, I am working with. And many times what I want to think about is I want this color to be dark. I don't necessarily need to use black. I'm going to go for this dark purple type of color. The elements and principles of design. Now let's take a look at how we can add an animation to this working with the animation window. Again, I come to window if I do not see it, I come to interactive and I'm going to choose animation. As we take a closer look and we have an object selected, we can see that we have a whole bunch of different choices to choose from. We can choose appear. We see a little preview of it in the box and I'm choosing on page load. I do have other options as well. Let's stick with on page load for now. I could choose fly in from the left. I could see again my animation up in my little animation box and I can choose rotate. So there really are a whole bunch of different options to choose from. I am going to stick with fade in. And now I can see that I have applied this animation. I can always tell I've applied an animation because in the bottom right corner, I see the symbol for animation. I can preview this in my preview spread. I click preview and I can see my project. If I want to make this larger, I can make this larger. And again, take a look at my project as it's beginning. Lots of other options that we can work with, but in a nutshell, that covers how we can go about adding a simple animation.